Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. It feels so incredible to be sat down with my camera on, ready to catch up with you guys in a really nice, I don't even know what this vlog is gonna entail, but I'm just ready for a vlog. I'm ready to film, I'm ready for a video. I honestly have missed you guys. I've, I've missed my channel. I posted my New York vlog part two. Um, the other day and I was reading the comments and I was like I just freaking love YouTube so much I honestly we have that much to catch up on I literally don't even know where to start I feel like at the minute am I having a midlife crisis and do you know what actually solidifies I'm having a midlife crisis the fact that I'm sat here with a coloring book yes a coloring book and coloring pens that I just literally went to Hobbycraft specifically to get because I've been seeing loads of TikToks recently of um people coloring and i'm sorry but it looks so therapeutic and i need an activity at the minute that's actually not scrolling on my phone you're probably gonna say well why don't you read a book like you know pick up a book read read a magazine read a book but i don't know i just need something where my brain is not being active where my brain is not ticking away where i'm not having to like think loads and i think coloring is like the perfect thing for that so i specifically went to hobbycraft there wasn't really much there i'll be honest this was literally the best i could get which i kind of wanted i wanted more pastel colors because the girls on tiktok they're doing pastels i was probably asking a little bit too much from hobbycraft there and also the coloring book has the most i'm, I'm sorry am i gonna i'm gonna be coloring in a tortoise i'm gonna be what even is that a chameleon i'm gonna be coloring in a chameleon like this is all they had to offer i just feel like i really fell off recently um mentally I've been falling off physically since I've had Bambi really, so mentally, physically, emotionally, like I just feel like I've been on another planet and I couldn't, I can't even put my finger on why, I just, I've not been myself at all. Um, I still don't feel 100% myself, I'll be honest, I don't know why. You guys must feel so unstable watching my vlogs, I mentioned at the end of my um, the NYC vlog part two that sometimes I come on my videos and I'm like, I'm in such a good place, I'm so happy, like life is amazing, I'm thriving, like everything's going so well. And then like the vlog after that, I'll be like, I'm in such a bad place. Like I feel so sad. I can't stop crying. Like, and that is me. Like, it, I think that's potentially part of being a woman, part of being a human. I feel like I've really just recently become like a different person. And I don't think it's happened overnight. I think gradually, like as I've been growing up and over the last four and a half years of me, like having the career that I kind of do now and everything, like, I don't know, I'm just changing and I just want different things. Do you ever just feel like sometimes you don't align with where you're at and you just suddenly want to change? everything in your life you want to change the way you look you want to change your work you want to change what you're doing day to day you want to change your routine you want to change the way you eat the way you like work out like literally you just suddenly want to change everything that is where i'm at right now i just feel like in such a transitional moment in my life and i'm so excited i'm more than anything i think that's the emotion like i keep like losing that emotion but really i am excited more than anything i think as well what's a little bit frustrating which i don't even want to like talk to you guys about and i, I literally alluded it to I, I alluded to something tiny at the end of my last vlog but i know more than anyone it's so freaking annoying when people come on they're like oh i'm working on something and i literally can't tell you like i don't want to be that person but at the same time i'm working on something that's literally like without a doubt the most exciting like thing in my entire career like i cannot it doesn't even compare to anything i've ever done before and it's going on behind the scenes. But I don't know, at the minute, I just feel like sad that I can't talk about it. Bambi's asleep now. She's just gone seven o'clock. She's literally fell straight to sleep. We had swimming this morning and oh Lord, let me just show you this one thing, please. Guys, are you joking? Are you joking? Is that a joke? Because I will cry. I will cry looking at it again. Bambi got her first swimming badge today. It literally shatters my heart into a thousand pieces. I've literally been ordering a copious amount of autumn winter clothes at the minute. I've got so many parcels that I'm going to unpackage on this vlog and I'm going to show you what I've been buying. So a little mini haul. I've got some Zara bits, some H&M bits. Um, I bought some bits from Hollister as well because I'm obviously a Hollister stan as you guys know. I'll charge my battery packs up and then we can spend the evening together and we can go through all the parcels and everything. We can just have a nice bit Big, girly juicy ketchup guys my house is so cold the house is literally freezing i've just had to put a cardigan on which actually to start off <laughs> on one of the things i've bought recently has been this cardigan nice big juicy h&m box don't just took myself out i was gonna say don't mind if i diddly do and then one of a couple zara boxes that i've got i don't know if i'll unbox everything because we could literally be hit all night but you guys might want that like you guys kind of might be into that oh i only ordered like four things from h&m i'm not gonna lie i thought i ordered more and i literally cannot remember for the life of me what i did order let's start with the thing that looks the most promising let's have a little look i honestly cannot remember for the life of me what i ordered okay that's really cute that is 
that's really quite gorgeous. Okay, we're off to a good start. We're off to a really good start. I've got a tiny little bit of makeup on from the day. I don't know if I love that it's cropped because your girl ain't about to get her belly out for anyone. Like, I am not about to start doing that, like, ever. Um, hmm. Hmm. I like it. I don't love it, I'll be honest. Like, it's not like... I don't think this is going to be like my ultimate winter knit this season. This next one does look also quite promising. Let's hope this is a little bit better. Um, another winter knit. Oh my god, we're cropped again. What was I doing? Like, who did I think I am? I've not worn anything cropped in about two years. Oh, okay, this looks cute. This looks cute. Oh. Oh, I quite like that. I don't know if it like makes me literally look like I'm just like a floating head. But... I kind of love the sleeves on that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, this is really cute, guys. I like this a lot. The sleeves on this are really nice. I love, love, love a baggy sleeve. I think it just makes something like a jumper or a top or anything. I just, I don't know, it makes it look like expensive and like a little bit chic. So we have another autumn winter jumper, another little knit. What have we got here? Oh, God. Okay, I don't think this was my, I honestly don't think this was my finest hour. I really don't. This doesn't feel very... Oh, it's a full, it's a full zip. We've gone for a full zip. What was I thinking? Oh God, no, to be fair, I've got a, oh no, this is cute. Okay, a little bit scratchy. Oh, do I look like an art teacher? I don't know if it's giving like, oh, I look a bit like Hagrid. I don't know why, it's giving like Harry Potter, Hagrid. It's kind of giving like Hagrid mixed with like Shrek's, Shrek's get up that he wears. I don't, it's not very gorgeous, gorgeous girls, is it? I just, I'm not sure. Fourth thing I picked up from H&M, not that exciting, but exciting for me, I picked up some PJs. I got these in, I always get my PJs um, in a large, just so they're really nice and comfy. These are just like grey with love hearts on. They are literally the most like uncool, unsexy thing ever. I do not spend a lot of money on H&M. I do not spend a lot of time on their website. I do not spend a lot of time in their shop. And then some of my friends are like, People always say, oh, I got it from H&M, or this is from H&M, or, like, I see loads of reels on um, TikTok, I see things on Instagram, and I was like, H&M, H&M. And I'm like, am I just not, like, getting the H&M hype? Like, do I need to be doing something different? Do I need to be spending more time on the website? Which is why I did this order, but it's getting, like, a 5 out of 10 for me. Like, it's not even that. Like, I'm just not. Next up, we have Zara. Let's hope this goes a little bit better. What in the sexy spy was I ordering here? Like, I actually, again, cannot remember what I was ordering, but... I, I ordered a lot of this for Paris Fashion Week. Um, I was only there for literally like one day, so I don't even know why I, I ordered all this stuff. I was just panicking. Guys, what in the Mr. and Mrs. Smith was I thinking with this jacket? I don't know. Am I actually kind of here for it? Am I actually kind of here for it? I don't know why. I literally look like a spy or something. I look like, I look like a detective. I just want to know where I thought I was going in this jacket. Like, where did I actually think I was going in this jacket? But at the same time, I kind of love it. But I just don't think, like, I just, I don't know. Did any of you ever watch Spy Kids growing up? I feel like the mum of Spy Kids with, like, the short um, red hair. Let's see what the price of this was. This was... Oh, it was £70, which for a long... It's obviously not real leather, but for a long, like, faux leather jacket from Zara, like, this could easily have been £120. I wouldn't have been surprised because... Zara prices can sometimes be like that sometimes. They can sometimes be expensive. Now, the next thing I've got to show you guys, I'm going to be honest, is the thing I'm most excited about. Now, I saw a girl wearing this jacket on Instagram. I am deceased. This is actually just taking my breath away, guys. This is incredible. I didn't know what size to get it in. I got it in a medium. I really hope this is going to be right. I got some matching trousers as well. I think they're in a separate parcel downstairs. Oh, I really want this to be cute. I really want this to be cute. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Sorry, I keep looking over there because that's where my mirror is. I think this could be a, one of the best things I've bought in a long time. It's been a long time since I've bought anything where I'm like, holy crap, this is good. It doesn't even look that good on the camera and it's literally looking so orange on the camera, but it's like a deep, deep, like true red. It's absolutely stunning and I bought the trousers to match. I got them in a large, so I'm hoping they're gonna fit because we all know, we all know in Zara, if you wanna get trousers that you like are gonna fit, size up by at least 10 sizes, no, no exaggeration. Like if you're an extra small, order a large because they will still not fit you. Some of these pieces, guys, I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I'll just try it on anyway because I can just shove this one over the top. This is like a knitted 
flipping waistcoat tunic type thing that's obviously going to make me look I mean it's going to cut my arms off in all the wrong places I don't even know why I bothered ordering this I don't know actually I don't I don't hate it obviously without this underneath ignore that I feel like it's actually quite is it quite shaping like is it quite shapey I don't know I then picked up a little black this is like a faux like shiny leathery material um just like a black high neck top again crop like sorry I must have been like thinking that I was some sort of I don't know who I was thinking that was when I ordered all this stuff because I don't wear anything crop never have never will I ordered this cute little corsetty zip up top which I will quickly put on for you guys now I'm just gonna do my body suit I was so not gonna switch on the camera <laughs> I just feel like it's you, do you know what we've all been there like we've all been been there the full regalia the full regalia is here for the world to see i've abandoned the zara hall guys it was going pretty south so i just thought do you know what we stopped where we're at now and we were we, we that's good english we re <laughs> we revisit that's really hard to say we revisit or we we <laughs> oh my God. we will revisit it later um i'm just making myself a little sandwich for my dinner which is just pathetic but i literally haven't got the energy to make anything else i've already had loads of bread today so i'm only gonna do like a half sandwich i am gonna have more than this don't worry um this is just i'm just getting started for the night because i'm gonna get in my bath but um yeah i'm gonna do like a half sandwich and then fold it over because i've already had like four slices of bread today and then as for my little magic trick we're just gonna go one two three and then We've got a miniature sandwich. It's just like a half. I love doing that trick. Mmm. This is a really good sandwich. The way I'm obsessed with cucumber at the minute is not normal. I put it in everything. I'm obsessed with the texture. Like, the, like, fresh crunch it adds to everything. I'm so not a foodie. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But, like, I love the texture of cucumber in a sandwich. You know, when it's, like, all soft and then you get, like, a like a cold crunch. It's just the best ever. I love it. Mm, so good. My bath is ran behind me. I'm gonna quickly take off. I mean, I've literally barely got any makeup left on my face. Just like a tiny, tiny little bit of foundation I'm using, as always, LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Um, this is, has nearly run out. When I hit the bottom of a jar, like a tub, anything, when I run out of the product, it says, so much about a product for me before i turn this off it's really loud um and there's a very few products that i constantly return to hey guys. say hey guys Brittany. hey guys say it's Brittany. Definitely not. I will not be saying it's Britney. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw a compilation on TikTok recently of your Britney moments. And sorry, what? And everyone thought it was hilarious. I'm sorry, what did you just say? The little Britney moments that you have. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a compilation of it on TikTok. Right. That's <laughs> fantastic. That's great news. Right, babe, well, you can message me. I'm going to get a bath now. I've just ran one. Oh, I'll drop you a message, yeah? All right, love you. I love you, babe. Okay. It's been a very long camp, guys. It's like week eight or nine now we're going into, like, of us not living together and um, only seeing each other at the weekends. Um, I'm very ready for some normality now. Like, I always try, like, towards the end, I just, we both just get to a point where we've just had enough and he's had enough. Like, it's a very hard environment environment for him. Here is my bath. I've definitely had more impressive baths before in terms of, like, the aesthetics. It's not really giving much, but it's because I've used, what did I put in my bath tonight? I've used um, these. I've not used this before. It's um, a bath milk. It's not like a bubble bath. And then I had a tiny little bit of the remainder of my favorite bubbles that I put in. Quick bath, quick soak, and then I'll chat to you guys. These are my main areas at the moment where my expert, my expert, my expert is surviving and thriving. She is surviving and thriving, yeah. So just to quickly show you, 
um, what I picked up from Hollister. I grabbed these pyjama bottoms. Now these are part of their Christmas pyjama bottoms. They had all of their Christmas PJs out um, and I did some damage. To be fair though, Hollister prices are really not bad. Like I remember when you actually had to remortgage your house, like your parents had to remortgage their house to be able to buy you Hollister. And honestly, either the prices have come down or like, Everything else has just gone up so drastically that Hollister doesn't even seem expensive anymore. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. And I think it was like £130, which for seven items of clothing these days is like absolutely insane. I'm not going to like show you fully in depth because like it's a little bit soon for Christmas PJs yet. But <laughs> very soon, it's not even Halloween yet. Um, but I just got some Christmas PJ bottoms. Now the only annoying thing, how cute are these ones by the way? The only annoying thing that Hollister don't do, they don't do matching tops so like you only buy the bottoms. I feel like I've missed doing hauls with you guys. I feel like I've missed showing you things I've been buying, things I've been like been luckily sent. Just got some new phone cases. Um, I've been wearing, this is the one I've got my phone currently, but I've now got it in lilac. Obviously these are from Treat Studios and I'm just like the biggest treat stand because two of my good friends own treats and I just think it's such a cool little brand. I love it so much. If you ever see me wearing these necklaces, I've also got a B1 and you're wondering where they're from. These are also from Treats. Another PR little package I've been sent this week, which I want to open is, one from Kylie Skin, uh, which is, let me see, how do I open this? Like, there's me literally trying to rip apart the whole box. Like I've literally ripped apart the whole box when it actually just has in fact a front door on it. Like it has a front door and I've just actually decapitated the box trying to open it. This is cute, this is cute. I am so here for lip products. I am so here for it because one thing about me, one thing about me, I'm gonna have dry lips all year round, not just in winter, not just when it gets cold. Best believe my lips, I'm gonna be honest, sounds gross. They are gonna be crusty, musty and dusty all year round unless I'm constantly applying products like this. Um, oh my God, this looks stunning, guys. Stunning, this, I love like big, juicy applicators. Let's see, I'll give you an honest review. Smells. Oh my god, that noise. Oh my god. Oh, it's like spine tingling, that noise. Literally spine tingling, hang on. Let's go for it. Okay, first of all, I will say... <gasps> that applicator... Are you joking? It's not like crazy thick and not like crazy sticky or like really overly glossy. I think this is a great... It seems like a great little lip oil. I'm quite pleased with that. And it's come, like, I've got it in loads of other colours as well. And I, when I put, when I apply lip liner, I normally apply, like, a lip balm instead of a lipstick. Um, just to try and keep the hydration there. Because I need all the hydration I can get with my lips. I don't know if it's because I have, like, zero filler in them anymore. That they are just so, like, shriveled. And they literally go, like, a shriveled, dry, crispy prune. When I don't put lip, um like a lip treatment on them all the time. I've got a package here from Living Proof. They said, hi Money May, we saw your IG story about oily roots the day after washing and thought you need some of our best selling advanced clean dry shampoo. I've actually already got loads of this product. I love it so much. It's such a good product. So they sent me a few of their dry shampoos. I posted an Instagram story the other day, uh, basically talking about how I constantly live with greasy hair. And like, I don't even excuse it anymore. Like when I come on here, because you guys know if I'm coming on to vlog, like, you know, I'm going to have greasy hair. Like, it's not even a question. Like I'd say 95% of the time my hair is slicked back greasy. Like that's not, I'm going to be honest, it's not oil. That is not hairspray. It is grease. It is stick with grease. I only washed this about two days ago. Like I can't keep up with it anymore. I'm a low maintenance girly. Like I can't be washing my hair every day. I just can't do it. I have a child. I don't have the time. Thank you so much, Living Proof, for sending me this. I've already used it. Um, so this is a good little restock. It's a really great dry shampoo. I've got a package from YSL Beauty. I think they've actually sent me a perfume. I think this is a perfume. Libra. I'm sure this is the one that Dua Lipa promotes. Like, I always see the advert of her, like, walking through, like, a big fire behind her. I think this is the perfume that she promotes. Loads of lipsticks. It's like a whole bag full of lipsticks here. Um... I think this is a red, it says rouge. Let's have a little look. So gorgeous. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you joking? Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Finally, before I go to bed, I got the most gorgeous package ever, which I'm still not over from Cartier. I think this was sent from the person that served me a lot when I used to indulge in my Cartier purchases. I have not done that in a very long time, but I went through a phase like, probably about three years ago now, where I 
I, yeah, I spent some money in Cartier and I really indulged and um, treated myself quite a lot in that shop. Um, and I think the sales assistant that used to serve me in there has sent this to us, I believe, I don't know, but I get from Cartier. I mean, I can't not show you guys because I'm, abs I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I literally, I opened this earlier with Erin, I was speechless. So it's a blanket with Bambi's name embroidered into it. It is so special and I feel so lucky to have received something like this. How gorgeous is that? For now guys, I'm actually just gonna head to bed. I have personal training in the morning. I would show you and film it, but Erin does it with me and I can't imagine she's gonna wanna be filmed working out. I mean, it's not it's not the most pleasant experience at the best of times. We really have to push each other through it. We have to literally, like when one of us is flagging, we're like, come on, you can do it. Like it really helps doing it together. Such a rainy night outside. I'm so happy about it. I'm going to listen to the rain hitting against the window whilst I fall asleep, literally like, the most beautiful sound in the world to me and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow night good morning guys how are we all doing i promise i will move out of this room soon like the day is going to continue it's a sunday today a couple of days later than when i last spoke to you but i just wanted to turn the camera on now quickly because i wanted to I wanted to quickly show you what I'm talking about, the whole greasy hair thing. Also, the postpartum hair breakage is sideburn, sideburn, full scale sideburn for me. Like, this is looking super cute, so pretty cute. Um, what the hell? That's so great. Like, literally 10 out of 10, love that. But that wasn't actually what I wanted to say. I basically, I had my hair blow dried, blue, blow, blow dried um the night before last so the day i was vlogging with you guys that night i had a blow no i didn't i'm talking absolute rubbish the day after that i had a blow dry and that was the day after yesterday i'm not making any sense basically i had my hair blow dried like two days ago now grease literal butter filled grease scalp professionally blow dried like literally and on honestly, I don't know if it really looks like it that much, but like it's it's greasy, like it's so greasy. I I will have to put so much dry shampoo in that day to try and make it look some way acceptable. So yeah, I just thought I'd sh like give you another example of like what I mean when I say my hair is just like I just find it really hard to enjoy it at the minute. Like I just really don't enjoy my hair these days because I just associate my hair with with oily sunflower oil like butter grease like that's literally all i think about but anyway on a more positive note today is a sunday my favorite day of the week one of my favorite days of the week um bambi's just gone down for her first naparoo let me see if i can that's better bambi's just gone down for her first nap and i am going to take on a walk when she wakes up and i'm going to go and meet zoe and her friend holly um in the little town near where we live um, and we're gonna get a coffee and maybe some breakfast. Our house at the minute, guys, is like a constant horror movie marathon. Like as soon as it hits October for Tommy and I, it, like there has to be a horror film on at all hours of the day. Like it's half nine in the morning right now. And we've just been watching Insidious downstairs. We've just left Tommy downstairs watching it. Um, and Tommy's nutritionist is here as well. So we've all been watching Insidious this morning. And I know loads of you guys will be like, surely Bambi finds that so scary, like seeing that. But like Bambi doesn't really pay any attention to the TV. Like she's not, we never have really put the TV on much for her. Um, only in like absolute like emergency cases where she's been like so upset. I've like resorted to putting a bit of TV on for her. Um, but she's never really been that fussed about the TV so far. She might change. Um, so like even when the TV's on, like she won't be fixated on it. And even if she was, I don't feel like she's at an age yet where if she saw like a really scary character on the TV, I'm probably gonna get <laughs> loads of stick for this, being like, she will, she will. Um, maybe she does, I don't know, but I don't feel like she can really understand what's on the TV. But when she gets to a stage, like a stage where she would understand, we definitely won't be putting horror films on around her, like, don't worry. I'm just using, as always, the Strobe Dewy Skin Tint from MAC. This has got to be, I think, my favorite makeup product of 2023. Like, I wouldn't have got through this year without this product. I adore it, and I'm nearly at the bottom of this bottle, so I need to replace it. Also, guys, you'll be pleased to know I actually went to the office yesterday and filmed an office tour, which is going to be coming in a couple of days. I wasn't actually going to film one, but then I had so many comments on my Instagram when I've been posting about the office saying, like, please do a tour, please do a tour. So 
a tour is coming for you guys. I'm gonna carry on doing my makeup just because I'm aware I've been in this room so much and it's literally so boring to watch. I'm gonna finish my makeup, get Bambi up and go and meet Zoe and her friend in town. Okay, sorry, I'm back actually. Um, just finished doing my little bit of makeup, but I just want to just dry shampoo my hair quickly. Like I've actually been reflecting on it the whole time that I've been doing my makeup, like looking at my greasy scalp and it's actually winding me up. Like it's actually really frustrating me because what was the point of me even paying for a blow dry? The reason I got a blow dry was because I thought, sorry, I'm literally being so boring. I'm just going on about the same stuff. But the reason I got a blow dry was because I thought maybe if I get regular blow dries and have it like dried properly, like with the brushes and like, you know, maybe that will help with the greasiness. But right, let's just work a load of... I love how much comes out of this when you literally just press it down a tiny bit, like so much comes out. I'm not about to let my greasy hair ruin my Sunday because that's just pathetic. And that will have to do. Outfit of the day. So I'm actually wearing one of my new H&M jumpers. This is the, my favorite one. This was the high neck one. Um, although because it's a little bit cropped, I want it to be tucked in and like baggy, but it, I can't really tuck it in that well. So I don't know ever just to like have it loose like that. Sometimes I do feel that that actually looks a little bit nicer than tucking it in, I don't know. Today's black, grey, black jeans are from PLT, but I've had these tailored. I'm actually like a tailoring girl now. I feel like, honestly, it has made me feel so much more confident in my clothes when I have them tailored to fit me properly. Um, because these jeans are like nice and baggy around the leg, like they're nice and comfortable, but around the waist, they fit me perfectly because I've had them taken in. <gasps> Let me see that outfit. Wow. Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 you cheeky girly. Cheeky girly. Yay! Oh. Guys, I asked for one shot in my ice latte, but I think that might have been a drastic I've mistake. Really I'd like go and get another shot. Look, Do you reckon? This, was, this is an all one. Should I try yours? Go and get one. It's not strong at all. Yeah. Really? Where should we come to? Gigi goes to have everybody. Bambi Fury. What shall we do with you? Do you want to eat Daddy's lanyard? Daddy has a lanyard. Daddy has a lanyard. These are our markets. Really very cute. Um, flowers, butchers. Oh, these are nice fresh flowers, babe. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Here we are, a day later. I I'm, listen, I'm not gonna feel too bad, I've done worse. It was yesterday when I last spoke to you guys. Only yesterday, okay? Today's Monday. Oh, tunes for us. Um, I'm not giving Monday energy. I'm giving like probably Sunday energy. This is basically, Bambi has swimming on a Monday and I feel like as much as it sets me up so beautifully for the week because it's just the most gorgeous thing ever I love taking her swimming it also doesn't set me up good for the week because I feel like it's an excuse as to why I look like this for the rest of the day on a, on a Monday I'm like oh well we, ha well we were in the swimming pool this morning you know so this is just how I'm gonna look today but no technically we're prepping for fight the fight now I was gonna say fight week well, this is fight week we're in fight week fight week right okay I'm really trying not to think about it too much because Pumpkin carving kit. Aww. Right, uh, we've just been to the, the Can always trust my dad to just show up unexpectedly. How cute is this, guys? He um, messaged me the other day saying him and his wife bought Tommy and I a present and they got us a pumpkin carving kit. Like, I'm sorry. How cute. I mean, it's not exactly cute. It's like scary tools with skulls on. Like, literally so cute. Anyway, I need to sit off now. I've got a million and one jobs to do in town today. I'm not even wearing a bra. Like, this Monday energy is giving, like, not wearing a bra today. Gorgeous, gorgeous girlies. Also, can I just say, where I get my bra, I'm getting my brows done quickly, brows and lashes. Very quick point. Lovely. It's in the same building that China White's in, and um, I've actually got PTSD because I used to come here clubbing back in my clubbing days, you know? Back when I used to club. Um... Wow, I don't know where I'm going. Just getting my moustache done now, guys, because I literally have a full, like, full moustache. <laughs> it's actually more the shock, I think, because you don't know when you're gonna... Yeah. It's your lip, it's nippy. Mm. You're getting your underarms waxed. Oh my God, never. 
I've had a bikini wax done twice in my entire life. Oh, but I had two and I'm going to go on. So she did the first side and I said, do you think we could just not do the second side? Because I genuinely couldn't. And then I had the second one done abroad when I was about to go on Love Island in lockdown. And um, I cried. I had tears oh. rolling down my face. And then my mum was really worried because she was like, she's never had anyone cry before. Okay. And she'd done waxes like her whole entire life. And she was like, I just have never it had... It is painful though. I had yeah. tears rolling yeah. down my cheeks. I had my um, armpit stuff. And she did one and I said, you're not even touching me. <laughs> I find it the sorest of Apparently the more you get waxes though, the, the less, less painful it is and because... if you get it done. So I get my Waxed on with the hot wax, with the one that you, yeah. you put your wax on. No, see, that scares me because I feel like once it's on, it has yeah. to come off because you yeah. can't leave it, or not that you leave it on anyway. But I feel like the strip is way worse because the strip pulls your skin with it, whereas that all. <laughs> the, the, the noise, the noise, and when you have a bikini wax and they pull it off and then you look, and the bulbs, the bulbs that have come out, the white ball at the end of the hair. <laughs> It's terrifying, but I'm so happy with my brows and lashes. My lashes have lifted so well. Guys, I feel like it's been absolutely ages since I've been in the city centre. I've not vlogged in city centre for so long. I literally never come here anymore because our old filter office was in the city centre and now it is not. So there really is no purpose for me whatsoever to come into town, which is a little bit sad because I do love my days in the city centre. I'm on my way home now quickly. Um, Tommy's going back to camp now and I want to try and catch him before he goes. The list continues on things we're gonna do today. My biggest flex is in life, right? And I'm not using that word seriously because I think that's just like the ugliest word ever. Like, it's a flex. But genuinely though, like, one of my biggest flexes is that I know pretty much all the words to every single song on High School Musical, like High School Musical 1, High School Musical 2, High School Musical 3, like I know all the words to every song, um, but one song that I literally, like I could probably recite it backwards, is A Night to Remember from High School Musical 3. This song is like, it should actually be like in the charts, like it's, it's so underrated, it's Freaking amazing. Should go movie star glamorous, sassy and sweet. No one better wear the same dress as me. What a banger. It's the night of our dreams. Oh God. Guys, I hope you don't mind, but I want to try and get this vlog up this evening for you all because I've got my office tour going up tomorrow and two videos in two days. Like who the hell do I think I am? I don't know, but I really want to post on my YouTube. Like I've got this full video ready. So I'm rushing to get it up this evening. I'm doing a million and one things at the same time. And also I didn't really tell you guys what I'd had done. Um, I had my eyebrows laminated, which I've literally not done in so many years now, but I just needed like, you know how I was talking about change? Maybe the eyebrows was one of those things. I mean, it's not a drastic change. It's obviously just lamination, but um, yeah, so I decided to get them laminated so I can't get these wet now for like a full day. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you guys millions and hopefully I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video. And yeah, love ya. Bye.